Covering an area of over 2,000 square miles and serving a population of close to one and a half million people, Northumbria Police are one of the UK's busiest police forces. We're just trying to make a search of the area. There's Newcastle with its vibrant mix of trendy bars, shops and art galleries. Gateshead, home to the Angel of the North and the Sage. North and South Tyneside with their stunning coastal backdrops. And Sunderland, once famed for its shipbuilding, now the European base for one of the world's largest car manufacturers. And finally, there's Northumberland, a blend of urban and rural landscapes and host to an impressive mix of English heritage sites including Hadrian's Wall and Annick Castle. Well, in many ways, Northumbria Police is unique. As you know, we have a large rural area and a big urban conurbation at the bottom. The so it's about a tailored policing need to the local community, not about one size fits all. It's about us listening to what local communities want and giving them the policing they want wherever they happen to live. As a BBC news correspondent for the northeast of England, I've been covering the big issues that affect the region for nearly 20 years. And believe me, crime is never far from the headlines. According to the British Crime Survey, crime across the region is decreasing, but sometimes the word on the street tells quite a different story. Crime levels are a bit high at the minute with all the drug taking. The biggest problem here in general wise is the kids. More than anything I would think, like you say, because of the pulling plants out and the litter and graffiti. There's probably plenty of, of trouble um, that's drink related. Well, I've lost like three of my good friends over like the last year and uh, one of them, like, he got stabbed in the neck and that was over just a drunken fight, you know. Our total policing philosophy is about everybody in the organisation. doesn't matter whether you're a specialist dealing in major crime inquiries or you're a neighbourhood officer or somebody working in a back office. It's about everybody realising that we're in the business of doing two things. That is building trust and confidence in the public everywhere across the area and reducing crime and disorder. In among the rolling hills and busy city centres, four and a half thousand police officers work 24-7 to tackle crime across the region. Yeah, see if you just check if he's got a four dark masks, please. They're backed up by another 1,500 police staff, including special constables and community support officers. On a typical day, they'll receive over 4,000 calls between them. On top of that, they'll respond to nearly 750 999 calls, investigate over 300 crimes, and make just under 250 arrests. Right, you're going to sit in the back of the van. There's cannabis oh, yes. in the ashtray. Through the use of CCTV, through photographic e-fits, and through advanced forensic techniques, many of those crimes that a decade ago would have gone unsolved are now seeing much higher rates of conviction. Often though, their most effective weapon in the fight against crime is you, the public. And over the next five days, we'll be asking for your help, piecing together the clues that will solve some of the region's crimes. <laughs> 